play it. Yeah, I haven't heard it. I would yeah. love oh, to Oh, you haven't this. heard it? Oh, no. I'd love to play okay. it here on the air for everybody. This is Vinny's cameo. Uh -huh. Vincent Verhey. Yeah. Live from my kitchen. Well, not live, That's, but... Well. Puts down a glass and says, I love me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's Did you get yourself that for Father's Day? I even better. My, my wife or got your it for birthday me. or yeah. whatever. Well, she knows you. She does. I love me. Yeah. Now he's pouring some milk. Fair life. Yeah. Hold. That's the good stuff. You couldn't even get... It is hold, at least. I have a well-stocked bar up there. Is this the how top. you pad time on your cameos? Well, buddy? to be honest, I did not know. I think I had enough material to work with here. So I was, I was in fact, stretching <clears throat> these out. Hello, Oreo. This is awkward because I am... a of the understanding that you have seen the cameo I recorded for Brian Alvarez. Sure is awkward, uh, isn't it, Vinny? I roasted you. And yeah, I don't know. I was pretty harsh. I said a lot of mean things, a lot of mean-spirited things. And I'll tell you something. Some of it I meant. Some of it I meant. It does irk me. It irks me when people who have no training, no background, sit down to record a podcast and think they can do it as good as I can do it after years of development, development and practice. Mumbling. That, that was a, bother, perfect, a, a perfectly <laughs> placed now, mumble. I didn't mean everything I said. I don't actually want to see you beached on the jagged, rocky shores of the Snoqualmie River. That's no good for anybody. You're dead. Uh, the smell is scaring all the tourists away. It's just a bad, bad thing in, in, in general. I, I wish I it didn't was mean dead. That. And I didn't mean it, Oreo. I did not mean it when I said you ruined Oreos for me. Now, to prove that, to demonstrate that, and also as a peace offering, to hope we can come to an understanding here, I made a little purchase. It was $10 yesterday. fucking dollars. God. Dark chocolate cream Oreos. And I purchased That's some. Very loud cracking. I didn't realize that. Blackout cake cream Oreos. Now, so you spent the eight no, to ten dollars on Oreos? Not about ten. Or yeah, Oreos good work, dude. I still love Oreos quite a bit. They weren't saying. Uh, why did I buy two flavors? Well, the honest, the biggest reason is because Target had a discount when you bought two. But the other key is I have tried and I'm a big fan of the dark chocolate cream Oreos. I have not tried the blackout cake flavor Oreos. And I uh, want to They're try They're already those. discussed see, honestly, it on the chat. We haven't got to the good part Because yet. dark chocolate and blackout cake seem awfully, awfully similar. That's why I have poured myself a glass of milk here. I have poured myself a cup of coffee. And uh, I'll be sampling those later. There's a reason for that. I'll get to that later. We'll set this all aside for now. Now, what brings me here today is that you, Oreo the Orca, have purchased a cameo asking me... I'll, I'll just read the instructions verbatim here. Oh, please. In all caps, I should note. This is Oreo the Orca. Please roast him good mm -hmm. and let him know it's for me. Also, fuck you for that cameo. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so that's what Oreo That's kind of funny, now, actually. I understand why you're upset, Oreo. I said a lot of terrible things. But I, I was merely trying to please the customer. The customer is Brian Alvarez. He asked me to say mean things about a whale. I found some mean things about a whale to say. That was it. Mm -hmm. um, See? What you're asking me to do here is different. You're asking me, There's first of all, you're asking me to roast the man like who signs my need. paychecks, which listen, is listen. always a dangerous, dangerous avenue to go down. But you're also asking me to roast someone who got me started on this podcasting career, which has brought me here to Cameo in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a little difficult to do. I don't know if I can do that. I don't See? know... If I can bring that was myself your moment. to roast a man with the talent of Brian Alvarez, and by talent, I mean he started an entire podcast for years calling me fat over and over. I started over it off that. I don't Come know yes. if I can roast a man with that kind of talent for fat jokes at my expense. I don't know if I can roast a man who only has a business because his sister married a guy who knows how computers work I can help him out and manage the tech side. I mean, Otherwise, he's still be printing out his uh, printing out his newsletter and letting his grandmother fold them. He's I really, paid her. I don't. I know employed if I her. A guy wow. With the talent to suckle at the teat of Dave Meltzer, mm. take a massive pre-existing audience, call it his own as if it is something he has built. I don't know if I can roast a man like that. I don't know if I, I can know roast I a could. guy who. Has a daily radio show where uh, he has, he's a co-host with Mike Sempervivi simply because he knows I wouldn't work with him that often. So we had to find somebody else. And God bless Mike for having patience to work with that every day. Now, I guess, I think about it, I guess I have been roasting here, here for the last minute or so. I've been roasting quite a bit. And I feel kind of bad for picking on the little guy. Oh, but yeah. It's perplexing yeah. because 
you look at his height and you think he's age eight, but you look at his hair and you think he's age 80. Wow. It's perplexing and confusing. I don't know how it all works, but that's, that's, that's enough, enough, enough of that for now. I want to get back to taste testing these Oreos. I set these aside for last because, as you know, being an Oreo, uh, sometimes when you eat Oreos, you get really, really horrible teeth. Speaking of horrible teeth, have you seen Brian Alvarez's choppers lately? Yes, yes, yes. I know he's 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 doing the Invisalign thing, and it's it's working great. His after photos look like everybody else's before photos. Really great investment on that one. That was a good choice. But that's enough of uh, Alvarez here. I'm gonna dig into these Oreos and see what I think. We're gonna go with the old standby first. Uh, the dark now you're gonna eat flavor cream. This does legit go like five more minutes. Does Cameo place. have a time limit? I don't believe so, no. I'm going to eat the, uh, the coffee first. Let's see how that goes. Have that. I think I shut it off here. Now I got to hear the rest. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. No. Oh, fucking ASMR Oreo fucking the Orca. Cameo. <laughs> no, it's not Oreo for me. Oh. That's good mm. radio, Brian. It's tasty. Tasty, tasty. Mm. Tasty. Well, there's one. Only 60 now more to go. <laughs> Blackout cake flavor is now very you're different. eating. Yeah. My pet peeve I mean, eating on the fucking side. air is do you, you even tell me what you see? I, yeah. Again, I was not confident in my ability to have enough material. I suppose the blackout cake flavor, which is here, seems to have two layers of cream. <laughs> what am I uh, fucking watching now? Dark, the dark God. Is exclusively dark. <laughs> There's another uh, minute the, left. The old cup of Joe. <laughs> I thought it was more, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, there's a very, very slight difference there. Mm -hmm. uh, you yelled at me for making a fat joke flavor. as you're sitting here um, eating Oreos that, that, for that fucking two straight minutes <laughs> on a cameo. Well, Brian, sometimes Both I say things I don't mean. Both are delicious because, again, you have not ruined Oreos for me. Now, uh, I've done my taste testing. I'm going to swing this down here. Mm. What more is there to say? <laughs> 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 Dude! <laughs> done my taste testing and done my uh, roasting. My final word here before we move on is that uh, Brian, I'll see you in a few hours, assuming you don't fire me. And uh, if you do fire me, I can still, uh, you can still get retribution by hacking me roast Oreo again by purchasing a cameo at cameo.com slash Vince is very high. No, Oreo, thank you. And uh, you also can buy more cameos at cameo.com slash Vince is very high. In fact, everyone watching this can buy a cameo at uh, cameo.com slash Vincent Verhey, and I will roast whoever you want me to. Dude, anything Peace. else? Golly! Red Five It! Wow! Fuck. That was even funnier than I realized. Jesus! That was pretty good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I couldn't help but know, San Diego, if I fire you. Uh, well, you know, Vinny, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm smiling. I'm not mad. Oh, good. Why would I get mad? Because it's just a joke. Why would I get mad about all those things that you said about me? You did call me fat. Uh, because you know, Vinny. Mm -hmm. Not just you, by the way. You know, I don't get mad. I just move on. Oh, good. And I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is that big announcement, Vinny. Yes. You know, I cleared with Sean and Craig and you the big change that was mm -hmm. coming in June. Yeah. Right. We were going to switch off of this this retro rod, and we were going to move to something new and fun. That we were all excited about. Yes. But, you know, just out of purely coincidence, you know, I was thinking today, you know, plans change. Right. Plans change. All right. And I've decided that uh, since I am the host of this radio show, mm -hmm. that was, in fact, built on your fat back, you claimed, many years ago. And uh, you know, uh, you know the the back of the teat of Dave Meltzer. Mm. I thought, you know, you know, let's think about this. <clears throat> let's think about this. What was the Brian and Vinny show built on, Vinny? Was it really built on calling you fat? Yes. Well, you know, it really wasn't, Vinny. I may have called you fat here and there, but it was not built. Mm. It was not built on calling you fat. Was this show? Built on the teat of Dave Meltzer. No, Dave has never been on this show, not one time, Minnie. Yeah, that's true. That's In true. fact, you and Dave have never been on a show together. Uh, not yours, no. No, not one single time have you ever been on a show together. 
what I thought, what did build this show? And then, you know, I got to thinking, I got to thinking about all those people that said, you know, I first heard about you, uh, Brian. I watched some videos on YouTube that I thought were really funny. Hmm. Yeah, they sure did. So, you know what I was thinking? What a fucking coincidence that AEW is going to announce Collision tomorrow, which is going to start the third week of June, which just fucking happens to be the 21-year anniversary of the birth of TNA. Mm. Yes, you know what TNA is, Vinny? Mm -hmm. TNA is what actually built this show. Our mm. TNA reviews. And, you know, people have said, oh, man, you know what I'd love is I would love if you guys reviewed, like went back and reviewed some of that old TNA. And you know what I used to always say? I used to always say, I'll quit. I'll quit first. But you know what? I am an angry, bitter little man. Hang on now. And I won't quit. If it makes you suffer. So, sorry, Sean. Sorry, Craig. But beginning the third week of June, I have decided we are going to do 21 years ago in TNA. Um, no. You know what that means? Wait, no. Yes. No, wait. It has been announced live. We can't wait. go back now. You know how angry people would be if you tried to get out of this? This is not what we agreed to. Oh, it's too bad. Wait. Too bad, my friend. My good friend, Vinny B. Because, you see, if you go to the uh, TNA YouTube, what do they call it? I don't, I don't know. What's that thing called? Look it up, Sean. Look at Sean's face. Do you be the weekly pay-per-views? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. They have all They have all of TNA from June of 2002 all the way through, I believe, 2011. I have to buy another subscription service yes. because of- Yes, yes, no. you do. And so that is going to be the new plan for this show, everybody. 21 years ago in TNA. We're going back to the weekly pay-per-views. We're going back to the asylum, Vinny. Oh, we're going back to the dicks. We're going back to the Dup Cup. Vince Russo booking. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm not okay with this. Brian. Anybody who wants to quit, go for it. I wonder if I saw that picture of me giving the giant middle finger to the TNA Well, too side. bad. Too bad. This is a better announcement than my original announcement. This is a this is a perfect, perfect idea. Hmm. Now we'll have AEW Collision on Sundays. We'll have 21 years ago in TNA every Tuesday. And on Thursday, AEW and NXT. It's going to be a new Brian and Vinny show. And I'm so excited. It's called Impact Plus. Impact Plus. They got them all, don't they? It would be appropriate if they called it Impact Minus. Oh, oh Vinny. Oh, my God. You know what? Maybe we're going to go back and we're going to find out that we were wrong. Maybe we're going to go back and go, you know what? This really is great. We're going to literally, you guys can go back and you can watch all of our Monday Night Wars coverage and then jump from the death, the final day of WCW, to the first day of TNA, its spiritual successor. So there you go, everybody. Starting the third week of June. Why does everyone have to be so sad? This is exciting. Thanks, I'm not honey. sad. I'm angry. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.